Well, Mark, March 12th, the NHL season was paused. It's been such a crazy few weeks for everyone, I think. What has it been like for you? Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a whirlwind. Um, you know, I definitely feel like the, the days are, you know, starting to mesh together a little bit, which are, which is kind of strange, but, um, you know, uh, I've tried lately to kind of tune out, tune out the news a little bit, try to, you know, just focus on, focus on myself, focus on my family and, um, you know, just try to, you know, just try to hope the, hope that things go back to normal soon. You don't have kids and we've heard people about the adjustment about being home with the family all the time or different ways that they're trying to keep themselves busy. What's been the biggest adjustment overall for you? I think it is just staying busy. You know, I find, uh, you know, in the mornings, I'm pretty good. Mornings and you know, early afternoons are pretty good. Um, I keep myself busy, you know, whether it's, you know, workout. Uh, I started taking a class online. Um, but once it hits like three, four o'clock, I'm kind of like, you know, staring at the staring at the wall saying, okay, what else can we do? What else can we do? So, um, you know, definitely trying to think of new ideas every day. And um, you know, a lot of time is, you know, whether, you know, it's FaceTiming buddies or, or stuff like that. Um, but, you know, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely an adjustment just trying to trying to find a bunch of things to do. And usually, you know, during a season, you're just taking that that extra time to rest. What type of class are you taking? So it's an introduction to physiology. So it's just on like this, uh, this app called Coursera. So it's essentially like auditing a course. You don't get like the credit for it, but I, I don't think I would get a, it would take me forever to actually get a degree anyway. So it's more, it's more just knowledge and, you know, I spend an hour on it a day and, um, you know, I actually just started it, uh, yesterday. So I was pretty intrigued. Um, spent like an hour and a half on, uh, on some lectures and, and notes yesterday. So it, it's interesting and it's, um, something that I, I, I'm passionate about. So it was, uh, it was cool to, you know, actually, you know, see what it kind of would be like to be in a class. Okay, I have to ask you, obviously, Blake Wheeler was on a video conference call earlier this week and maybe made a few headlines when he said that when it comes to a teammate that he might least like to be quarantined with, and your name came up because of your music choices, Mark, and I think that he singled out High School Musical soundtrack, and I think a lot of your fans are people and have followed Winnipeg Jets might know that your love for high school musical has extended for many years. It goes back a long time. This could be the start of something new. It feels so right to be here with you. Oh. <laughs> what was your reaction when you heard and what sort of comment did you have back to Blake? Well, I sent a text to Trubes right away and I like sent him the screenshot. Um, and said like, is this a problem? Like I didn't, I, I wasn't aware that this is a problem. Um, so, you know, and then I te texted Co or Copper sent it to me as well. So, um, we had a good, we had a good laugh about it, but you know, my, uh, my music choices are definitely a lot, a lot different than his and mine are more upbeat, but I'd like to think I'd be pretty fun to quarantine with. I, I, I keep things upbeat. I smile a lot. I, um, you know, like happy, happy music. I don't like anything, anything too, uh, too down in the dumpster, stuff, stuff like that. So. I, uh, you know, I, I like to think I'd be, I'd be uh, a good person to quarantine with. <laughs> you mentioned back to you know, the hockey and filling time right now that you try to still do some of your training and we've seen different players try to find different ways because obviously it isn't the norm for you guys right now. What have you been doing to try to keep up some level of training? I'm like, a, I'm a pretty active person. So I sit still for, you know, a few minutes, I'm, I'm kind of eager to do something. So it's kind of, it's kind of changed. And, you know, I've obviously been, been in contact with, you know, the team around me and trying to keep, keep things fresh and new and, and not just doing the same redundant, you know, workouts every day. So, you know, it's a time to, you know, like I've been, I, I went for a run the other day, like a, you know, a longer run than I've ever gone for in the last like seven years. And I used to be such a great runner. And then, you know, you add, you add, a, you know, another like 20, 30 pounds on the, onto your body and it's a lot different. So, um, you know, it was, it was just, it was just cool to, to go out for a run. I was definitely sore in some spots that I, that I've been sore in a while, but, um, you know, it, was, it just, you know, it is fun to, you know, find new workouts and find new things to do and find, um, you know, new exercises that you like or you haven't done in a long time. So, um, you know, that was, uh, that was definitely something that's been an adjustment, but, you know, I got a good team around me to, to help me out with that. So, you know, I'm definitely lucky. You know, it's, uh, you know, it feels weird not, not even being able to, you know, put a hockey stick in your hand and, um, you know, go for a skate or whatever. It's, you know, the longest I think I've ever been. I know my mom, I was talking to my mom the other day and she's like, this is probably the longest you've ever been not on the ice in a long time. So it definitely has been. And, um, 
you know, it definitely feels weird. And, you know, I'm definitely, you know, chomping at the bit to, <laughs> to be able to get back on the ice. Yeah, I think that hockey fans are certainly looking forward to hopefully being able to see some hockey resume if everything uh, gets going and improves everywhere. Thanks so much for the time, Mark. Appreciate it. Best of uh, luck and continued health to your family and yourself. Thank you. You too.